well, maybe she didn't want to be locked into a second dinner with you. <laughs> that she then has She's to She's eating dinner with me again, whether she likes it or not, down the road. <laughs> Right? It was what game the one. What's wrong yeah. with you? What is wrong with you? Well, I, I hear that oh, I'm done with the, I'm done getting crunked. Yeah. I'm done getting crunked. And then and then inevitably like a week later, man, I was so crunked. <laughs> Tell him Steve Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Em Steve Dave, here with Walt. Yo. And I'm here with a very taxi driver-esque looking Q. Hello. Travis Bickle. Yeah. yeah. Bickle action. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's uh, I wasn't, uh, wasn't prepared to be on camera today, you know? Yeah. So this is my- You're Looking good though. Oh like yeah. Like that laid back, like- Yeah. This is it. This is a real me. Look. All right. Listen to you. you know this, is, this is a real me. That's a real you, yeah. This is a real me. All right. Fucking glasses make before. me look cool. <laughs> um, so if you're listening to this on audio, you can go to YouTube uh, at TESD Town and check out the video. And if I might remind some of you, last week I said, what we're going to do this week is we're going to do a split screen because we want to try something different. We're sort of like experimenting with this kind of stuff. And a couple assholes <laughs> have to fucking be like, it looks like shit. You guys are lazy. Da-da-da. Guess what, dickheads? We're not doing the fucking editing. It has nothing to do with lays. Who do we pass it on to? No, it's the the reason is that like, like the split screen is easier. Like there's no editing involved, so R- Rupert can just put it up there and do whatever he does. Much faster uh, processing time. So less work. Less work, right? Some might say lazy. No, some might say that we were giving. Well, some them, are saying lazy. Some are saying lazy, but it has nothing to do with lazy. No, it has everything to do with like here's two different ways we can present it. Which ones do you guys like better? Some people right. like the split screen better. Right, Other right, people right. don't. This particular cock had to fucking mouth off, and I was so fucking annoyed. I I went out of my way last week to be like, here's what yeah. we're gonna try. No, yeah. there's always some fucking dickhead who has to mouth off. Yeah, you know. Do you Usually know, it's me. Do you know who this dickhead is? Or <laughs> I didn't even. I'm not going to name him. I'm not but I mean, him the, is this a repeat dickhead? I don't know. I just saw it once. Oh, all right. And then I wrote back some snarky comment, and then I didn't look again soon. So what are we doing today? Split screen. What are we doing today? Rub split screen. I'm going to do regular. You're going to do regular? Why? You, you don't want to take the heat? You don't like yeah, the... Come on, it's camera. Come on, yeah, Mike. Come around. on, you little puss. <laughs> come take fucking credit for your work. Yeah, we got lots of stuff to ask Rupert. Do one, I'm, I'm concerned for him. About what? Jesus I'll tell Christ. you in a minute. I'm concerned for his health. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is everybody. This is Brian Rupert. I'm sure you've seen him before on video. Yeah. Uh, if you have Patreon, probably. And uh, he's one of the camera guys, editors. And the first week he did the like back and forth editing. The next week we did the split screen. We were talking like, you know, because Q schedule is pretty erratic. If it's just me and you. Then it's easy. Like we oh, could yeah, we, yeah. we could sh- we could shoot it on Tuesday. He could have all week to edit. But like today, you know, it's well, Wednesday. Sometimes it's not. It's Friday, Saturday. Sometimes we only Sunday. knew yesterday, yeah. and we only knew yesterday that we were going today. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the the reason was so that we could get the episodes out faster to everyone. Mm-hmm. Nothing to do with laziness. I understand. Nothing. Right, Rupert. Yeah. You saw comments and and you thought you you waited in your mind and you're like I'm just going to go back to the because people like to see like if I'm talking and I say something and you guys laugh they want to see your reaction if one of you guys says something and I laugh they want to see my reaction you know they want to see and I thought the um, the Joe DeRosa episode was a perfect example of like you like I like if you're just listening to audio all you see is Walt uh, all you don't see Walt's face mm-hmm. so you don't see that dismissive you're so fucking stupid how could you not get this look. And I feel like that's important to capture, <laughs> you know. So I don't know, Rob. It's it's a, you're going to be the the maestro. Then you're going to have to. Uh, how long does it take you to cut it versus split screen? Um, split screen is literally, you know, just putting it on top of each other, making sure it's framed and getting it out. It requires almost no work at all. The other one, I actually watch each angle. I see which is best for the conversation. You know, like I, 
I really take my time with it and I try to do the best I can. Right. So, so people are saying they like your hard work better than I think most. Yeah. Well, that's like, right. It's nice. Yeah. Your, your work's appreciated. Yeah. I, I could put out both because the split screen is so easy to do yeah. and give people the option, but you know, we could do that. Yeah. And not only is he our cameraman editor, he's also our booker. He's yeah. the guest booker. Yeah. A lot of hats. So he made yeah. us look like assholes. He's gonna, though. Tell, he's gonna reveal something. <laughs> oh, really? He did? Yeah, remember we oh, well, were we stuff too, but yeah, but but he, he yeah, he did he did say something that was kind of like questionable to uh yeah. to one of the uh potential guests of one of their I guess their handlers. Okay. But he also says that he has some major news to drop today about a guest he is pretty sure it's going to be coming. Uh, not, not pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. did, did you get that devil's guy after all? <laughs> Go ahead. Well, what was the, right. what was the, yeah, we were kind of, I don't think we ever even told you. Yeah. You sent us what you sent to Henry Winkler's, the Fonz's yeah. handlers. And, and you described our podcast as reaching millions. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. If you're including impractical jokers, then yes. <laughs> but if you're only including Tell Steve Dave, it might be a little bit of a I, I, overstatement. I, I viewed it like I don't know, so I could just plead ignorance, and it makes you guys seem much more attractive. Yeah, hey, but you should know. You shouldn't be ignorant on on anything. Or yeah, you're the guest booker. You know how many people listen? Although yeah. I don't. I'm not sure either. So. Yeah, that was my only thing that kind of made me go, oh. Yeah, it was great otherwise, but I'm just like, how do we prove that millions of people listen to us? Yeah. Million, I, not just one million. <laughs> millions. <laughs> millions of people listen to us. Yeah, that might be. We'd be the biggest life. fucking show. Yeah, we would be like Drogan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Rupert. So you're working on Henry Winkler. It's looking good. It's almost a lock. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard back from Henry Winkler's camp? Henry Winkler's camp completely ignored me. So yeah. he's no closer. All right. But who have you made some inroads to? So today I uh, contacted Ace Freely's camp, the guitarist. Ace might come in. You never know. Uh, I know he lives in Jersey. He's local. I contacted Peter Chris, too. They didn't get back to me. But someone in Ace's camp did respond, and they're going to oh. run it up the flagpole, they said. This is, so, uh, this is almost as good as getting them. Just the response is enough for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did you say? Was, yeah, just well, last time. Yeah, you said just the fact that he reached out was enough for you. So yeah. now you're demanding more. Yeah, now yeah, you're like, yeah. I want somebody to answer. And I'm getting more. Yeah, you yeah. are. <laughs> what, the, what was the response? Uh, I'll read it. Wow. Uh, Who gave you this email? Uh, address? This person, so and so, is best suited to help with this request. I'll let the t two of you take it from here. And that was the did a little intro. Second. That's good. Well, it's the first step. He's just shuffling off yeah, responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never. I, we get asked again on podcasts all the time, and I, I hate doing every one of them. Well, because <clears throat> most of the people that ask you, they have like twelve listeners, and you're like, "Look, I understand your fledgling podcast. Like, I used to do it for people sometimes. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. Like, there's nothing in it for you, except no. just the feeling of helping somebody out." Yeah, for which me, is which enough. is fine and cool like that. I mean, I've I don't think I've ever been on like this podcast aside, like on have I like I don't even know what a huge podcast would be. Like, like Bill Burr, Joe Rogan. Right, I'm, not like getting, those guys I'm not getting on those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they're not gonna have me on. So yeah. so then everybody else is just kind of what I have already in my own. Mm -hmm. Unless it's Sal and DeRose's. Yeah, taste buds. Yeah. So <laughs> you know. I get why they're not answering these emails right. and stuff like that is my point. Anything from the Buzz Aldrin camp? Uh, I actually followed up. Nice. And I follow ups are. That's cool, too. I really love that you're doing the follow up thing, too. <laughs> and I still haven't heard back. <laughs> get him set the bar so low. Yeah. <laughs> the goal right. is to have somebody singing in that seat that isn't Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Why All are right. you worried about his health? Why am I worried about his health? Because. Oh. Um, I normally don't go on Facebook. Uh, once in a while, though, like I'll, I'll go on there to, to look at something or Mary Beth will send me a link or something. Yeah. And I go on and I see this. Now, this is like I feel like Walt falls into this as well. This is a Brian Rupert post from like probably seven or eight days ago. I will never know joy or happiness. I can't wait till my fat ass heart explodes in my chest. 
Now, I'm assuming the Devils lost. Yeah, that may have been after game, game two, right? It was what game the one. What is wrong uh, with you? What is wrong with you? Uh, First off, you're posting like a fucking teenage girl looking yeah. for attention. Why would you write that? And I was just so making f- us look like a bunch of sissies, man. <laughs> and then on top of it, I'm like, this is a guy with a wife and a kid on the way. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Who gives a fuck about the Devils? Did the post have like a, something to signify that you were talking about the Devils? Like an emoji, a hockey emoji? I just assume anyone who actually knows me and knows they're getting shellacked 5-1 would know. Yeah, that's pretty heavy shit to just lay out in the world, man. <laughs> I know. I, I probably shouldn't have done it. You know, that's one I regretted the next day. I mean, just delete it. Yeah. I could. <laughs> well, just to edit it, just put hashtag New Jersey Devil. Or just write JK. Yeah. yeah. Any, number of things, any number of things that are like, is Rupert considered suicide? <laughs> yeah. Over what? Oh, you didn't hear? The devil's got shellacked. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, there's something wrong with people who are really in the sports. There's something definitely like missing in their brain that they give a fuck if a team wins or not. It, Why it is it you- different from a movie? What do you mean? Like you go see movies, they're all fictional characters doing made up stuff. Like, why does that because matter? Because it's a story. But with sports, you're kind of like, like these guys are like, we won. The number of times I hear people re- like as if they're on the team, like, oh, we won, we lost, we're doing it. Because you're a fucking sports fan. So yeah, I, but I, you don't think I, that I the, the team becomes the extension of a city? Or well, you, you state pride. Yeah. State pride. How else do you display your state pride, Rupe? I have a house. Okay. <laughs> I pay he taxes. Moved, he, yeah, he came to Jersey. He was a Staten Islander. Now he's a. It's because it was too expensive there. Yeah, but he's, still, he's a, he 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 loves Jersey so much. He moved here. He loves the Devils so much. He's like, I gotta get a Staten Island and, and represent Jersey. I feel like it was his wife saying, "We're moving to New Jersey. Right. I'll start packing." <laughs> Hope my heart explodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I could recall those feelings. You know, devastating losses in '94 and 2001. And even if there was social media back then, I wouldn't have written that. That's, yeah, that's a little bit too, like, you're too wrapped up. It makes people concerned. Like, I I know Rupert, so I'm like, he's not going to fucking kill himself. (laughs) But, yeah, people who maybe, like, fringe or, like, just see it are like, whoa, what's with this guy? Yeah. What about your family when they see something like that? They don't reach out and be like, what's They're so used to shit like that. Like... (laughs) You know, I've been a Jets fan my whole life, so they, they kind of know how it goes. And is this the only thing that gets you blue, sports? I get blue about other stuff, but this just will send me, like, actually anger. Like, I don't get angry. I get, like, angry to depressed. So that's kind of where that sends me. And do you think maybe then you – maybe sports – isn't for you then maybe you should take a break and yeah you like lots of other stuff you like movies and tv and all kinds of shit like just drop the sports drop the devils drop the jets shit would you be happier <laughs> yeah maybe but i couldn't do it like i've tried and dude i, I, I don't watch sports. sports look how happy i am <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you I, but i am i am a case you could look at though for the last five years i didn't follow the devils I didn't have that awful feeling in my stomach. I didn't have those ups and downs and those horrible, those when, the, you know, the, you know, you're, oh, we're going to win. Oh no, we lost. And then you're, you're crashing. I didn't have that for five years and I was happier. I thought. You but know? we watched the playoff games together. You were right back into it. I saw you I screaming motherfucker. I, yeah, at the I TV. was, but you know, but I'm setting <laughs> myself up for disaster though. I'm setting myself up for the inevitable crash and where I'm going to be miserable for like two days and i wonder if i made a gigantic mistake you know <laughs> going back into this well it just depends if they win or not <laughs> right but it, it, odds are they're not going to go all the way if they win though you do carry that for a year yeah. oh more that's than a pretty year. good yeah. feeling it's almost two years yeah you're right you're right yeah. by the time yeah. the next you're one. like oh they won last year i don't care yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I got you. Yeah, so, can't win them all. I guess right. we still got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you, I want to see how you react. You know, when 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 because we watched a couple games together and the, and the Devils have won both of those games. So I want to see how, how you react. Um, you know, remember, I had to take your phone away. Oh, <laughs> or, or block you on what? Or, or, or because if it's this way, you can't go post it on Facebook. Some crazy ass shit. <laughs> just would like, you let me have your phone in case so you don't yeah. do shit like that yeah. and then after, after the game just go to his house and pick it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it, i find it really weird like me like i find like caring about if a sports team win or loses yeah like that feeling is like me trying to feel like what it is to get a period or something which men can get 
<laughs> Very good, Brian. <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you. <laughs> well, here's the thing. If you watch the team regularly and you get to know the players, then it's almost like you're watching a, a scripted TV show because yeah. you f- you develop a relationship with individual players. Like, I got that in wrestling, but in, in hockey? Same shit. Can still and, do it? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, sure. at least well, hockey's real. <laughs> you know, so that's yeah. a lot it's a lot more you know a lot more invested in it because right. at the end of the day you can always be like well it was scripted you know mm-hmm. i mean it's a storyline right but this isn't a storyline though so and it's also I, I do think it could be because i don't know if you have any hobbies though who me yeah you well what do you consider a hobby something that you enjoy <laughs> video games doing. video games sometimes yep you, uh, you were hot and heavy on that for a while yeah I don't play many video games anymore. I've been more into the YouTube stuff. I'm like researching a lot about YouTube and shit. Sage wants to start her channel. So I'm going to I'm going to be on her channel. That's good. We're going to play Uno. Cuz they they won't let me play video Ooh. games. <laughs> Why? Because I get too mad. So they're going to play the video <laughs> games. Wait a minute. And you're yelling, yeah, I get, <laughs> and you're and you're concerned about him. But at least I'm your not family posting take, it on Facebook. Your family Only my family knows that I might kill myself. You get too mad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they won't. Mary Beth won't play with me at all anymore. Yeah, and uh, Sage probably would, but I don't really like playing the game she plays. So I was like, all right, well, what can I do then? And I was like, well, while they're playing the video games, I'll run the chat, and then on the uh, on the other side, I'll like I'll play board games with them, play okay. little Uno, and and like Uno sounds pretty boring on the surface, but. Sage talks so much fucking trash. Mm-hmm. It, it's unreal. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I was playing with her the other day, and I was like, I wish this was recorded. She won't stop. She won't let up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Just grinding you. Yeah, grinding me down. Can't stand it. All right, Rube. So how are you gonna move, how are you gonna operate moving forward? Because you can't live like this, right? You can't live with this, for, for this many months out of this out of the year. Live with this kind of. Uh, this kind of uh, distress and this kind of anxiety. Well, he's the type of sports fan that I wasn't, though. He has multiple teams that he likes and uh-huh. that, he, that he loves. So he's able to then, be like, if the Devils get eliminated, he's able to immediately be go, all right, well, the Jets got Aaron Rodgers. So he'll be able to hang his, oh, okay. his hat on something So he else. salves that wound with the yeah. Jets stuff. Yeah. Okay. But it's just a temporary fix. Right. Because... You know, the the odds are Rodgers may have a good year, but it's probably not going to be a Super Bowl year. Mm-hmm. Can I call something? Yes. Jets are winning the Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, boy. I'm okay. calling it now. You shouldn't do that. I'm you, setting myself up. Do you want to bet? <laughs> you want to bet? Oh, oh, want I, don't even, I don't even know who's in the Super Bowl. Oh, that, you know, I'll bet you. No, no, no. That's another thing he may have a problem with. Too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He's got a gamble uh, problem. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. You know, I'll, I'll text you later. <laughs> right. you can make back that pay that painting money on this guy. Sally Rupert's paying for it. This pigeon just flew into the coop. <laughs> it is. That's not the guy you want to sit next to. <laughs> Get your fucking life advice from. <laughs> I have to put this on two cards. This card said three hours before. Now I'm looking at it, and it says 34 minutes. Okay, I could, we could just do a second I'll card. I'll pop in this second card right. after this. Fuck. I'm going to buy all new. I'm going to buy 100 gig cards. I'm tired of it. Uh, okay. So uh, last week or the week before we went to see Bruce Campbell. Yeah. I told the story last week. Yeah. I wondered why people were asking me about the cup. <laughs> people were talking about the cup. But what version of the story did you tell of the cup? Uh, the real version. Well, where, where you were looking around for it and we were sitting at the table. Watching you look for it. Well, was it a regular episode or was it? Uh, it was a regular one? episode, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was on the regular episode. So, so yeah, Bruce Campbell made me, poured me his personal tequila stock into the cup. Right. Gave it to me. Fucking hero made me a drink. Made me one too. And then. Right in the garbage. We're walking around <laughs> with it. It wasn't like I stole it off the off the. It's true. The yeah, you were, you were still drinking because he gave us a we were, lot of tequila. It was like that. Yeah. Much. So like we just took and walked off his tour bus and we're like walking around with it. And then at the end of it, I was like, well, I, why would I throw this out? Like Bruce Campbell made me a drink in this. <laughs> like I'll, I'll keep this. Right. Sentimental. Now, it wasn't like it was an evil dead cup or anything. It was just like had some no, had the, random insignia but, on it. Right. I heard you may have been a little blotto though. Not at that point. I was later. I the maybe evening. that's why you put so much emphasis on I, the cup. Well, so that's the other affection. thing I, I'm sure that I have to correct. I didn't put that much emphasis on the cup. Oh, oh yes, he did. Oh, oh yes, he oh, did. Right. I wish I recorded it. Uh, so do I. You over, you over by the bar and you're looking all over the place. That's and those okay. people are going crazy. The, the helpers, are, the, yeah. the staff is going nuts. Right. They were, right? They're looking uh, yeah, all so over. So far, I'm with you. Okay. Uh, he can't find it. He's then, mischaracterizing one of two things already. But we'll, we'll, the next thing you know, 
they start plunging their arms down to their fucking shoulders in garbage cans and coming up yeah. with mustard and shit all over them. Yeah. Mr. Quinn, Mr. Quinn. Yeah. Okay. We can't find it. So this is what happens. <laughs> all right. We're, we're standing at the bar. We ordered food. We went to a table. I got to the table. I said, oh, shit. I left my cup at the bar. Went back to the bar. I said, it wasn't on the bar. I said, hey, guys, by any chance, was there a blue cup here? And now, is this just, again, I, I wasn't given a good uh, description. Is this like just like a blue solo cup, like a plastic cup? I, you know, I'll pull up the picture for you. A little bit more than that, but yeah, sure. Uh, so just a plastic cup. It's that, not a solo that cup. That would come in a bag. It's like if you went to a concert, if you went to a concert and bought it, they would give you a, like a plastic cup. Okay. It says like Billy gotcha. Joel on the side. Gotcha. Right. Okay. I think you did show it to me last yeah. week. Yeah. Not, you, oh, did I? You refresh okay. my memory. Now. So now, because he wasn't there. I, he doesn't know. I said, I said, no, you know, I was literally like, no big deal. If, if you guys threw it out, I said, it's fine. Go. But I said, if you have it, I want it. Right. They, then yes, they started going all over the place <laughs> looking for it. And I was over there going, not going like guys, find the cup. I was going, guys, it's not a big deal. I'm going, it's not <laughs> all a big I saw deal. Was this. Yeah. I'm like, guys, don't worry about it. I said, it's not a big deal. I, I said, assumed. <laughs> I said, it's my own fault. I said, I left it on the bar. So don't, don't worry about it. He starts digging through the garbage and I'm going, don't, I'm like, buddy, don't, I go, if it's on the top of the garbage, it's fine. I go, but don't go digging through it. So I go, stop. I go, stop, stop, stop. And then I walk over to the table and they, they're laughing. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Asshole. I'm like the guy. I said to him, I'm like, why the fuck did you do that? I go, the guy's hand was in the fucking garbage. I'm like, why'd you let him do that? They're they, laughing at it like it's the funniest thing in the world. They deserve it. They deserve it. Why? Because if that was my cup, they never would have went in the garbage. It's only because they wanted to suck your dick. All right. That's why. So I thought it was customer. fucking funny that they deserved. They deserved it. They fucking took my friend away. Year old kid. I go out with my, I go out with my friend to to uh, to a restaurant to a, to a show. I get to see him for two minutes, maybe. I also everybody's them- taking pictures, glad hand, and all kinds of shit. Cues preaching to some fucking kid about life. I was teaching that kid like lessons. an hour, yeah, like an hour. You were blotted at this point. He was at that point. I was <laughs> well, that guy was a weed dealer. Oh, was he? Yeah, that's why oh, he right. fucking pulled out some weed and we started smoking a joint, and then and I couldn't shut up. Yeah. Oh, whoa, you, you, do you want to reveal that? What about the firehouse? Oh, I'm not worried about that. It's legal. You can, you oh, can smoke okay. in that. Yeah. Though he he did. I, I will say this for you. Down loves for so long about the firehouse, right? Well, I was never never smoked it when I was in the firehouse. I was like, oh, I may, maybe because you want to go back. I can't remember why now. Well, it was just illegal. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, you you were, you know, you don't want to go telling people you're a cement head. <laughs> you know? I thought so. I thought yeah. that's the way. I thought everybody, I I thought everybody normally that, rolled that way. That but proudly. apparently that's not the case, though. Anymore. Well, but times have changed. It's like yes. legal now. Now it's, now it's yeah. uh, so, if you're not a cement head, you're the one that's fucked up. That brings me to my next point. Okay. Hold on a second, though. Because the what Flanagan, part didn't the, you like? Because as I recall up. it, as I recall it, at that, that same bar, maybe I'm having a different thing, well, but weren't we surrounded by bevy of hot young women all night? We were. All right, that so what is true. the fucking problem here? I will say this too. We're surrounded you, you by like a sorority. Why though? Because they wanted to take pictures and shit. So you? I'm there doing the work and these guys are all there fucking just talking to hot girls all night. Like why, how, how is he the victim in this situation? I'm kind of the victim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the pictures with the hovering hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like I'm not fucking touching him and stuff like good. that. I will say this too, despite his inebriation, Q dispensed some solid advice. Oh. To who, the weed dealer? To the weed, weed dealer, dealer, yeah. yeah. What'd you tell him? At no point did he say don't deal weed. But he no, <laughs> what am I going to do? The guys, he was, he was but 20 years old. he had some great old. life advice. Yeah, it's just standard stuff I said. Oh, I mean, I, yeah, days. you mentioned yeah. not getting a girlfriend to your 30. Yeah, don't get a girlfriend to your 30. Don't get married to your 40. Stuff like this. Standard stuff that I try and tell people who don't know. Yeah. But uh, don't give up. But yeah, I mean... Brian John, he's a, he's dreams. a, he's difficult to please. We went out, we went out this yeah. weekend too, and he didn't look like he had a good time at all. Where'd you go? Uh, we went to a Kmart. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> that. I didn't have a good time. It's the it last, was shocking. It's the last Kmart in Jersey though. Okay. All right. We, fair enough. An hour they didn't and, tell me that till later. Otherwise I wouldn't really enjoy it. 10 minutes away. So it's a two hour and 40 minute round trip <laughs> thing, but okay. we went to Kmart to check it out. And I thought it was cool. Cause it's like, it's almost like a time capsule. Yeah. You get to walk in and it and it feels like holy shit, yeah, man. It's big flooding big back. Classic to you. red K. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, all yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I'll tell you what, felt like you were at Walmart. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was no difference. I don't know I, if he's I, happy anywhere. I said to Mary Beth, I was like, if it had been like 
hey, it's a special like um, a special viewing. It's like this Kmart hasn't opened its doors oh, since that's, 19, that's nice. 1988. Yeah. And all the products from 1988 was still in there. Sure. Then I would be like, this is fucking awesome. It was just a fucking store. Okay. But I was happy to be with the company I was with. All right. The destination was like, whatever. I don't know. I don't know no, if I, I got like that vibe. He was just like, I'm going home. Oh, no, because I, I, wanted like to go, I want to drive another hour to a fucking antique slash flea market shop. And I'm like, we're heading south. I'm, I'm done. Apparently, I was I, I got third hand information that like, I want to just go home, watch TV and smoke weed. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Somebody overheard me? <laughs> I was I was done with Kmart. I don't yeah. like shopping. I have a hard time being in a car for more than two hours at this point. Okay, you know. So, um, but what what I the did blue find light out, special still blue light special. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, oh, nice. Uh, no cafe though. No cafe. I didn't see any cafe. I was bummed about that, but yeah. it still was. It was K interesting. The Kmart cafe, because now anybody listening to this probably never went in one or never will get the chance to, was way better than it had any right to be. Yeah, the Kmart cafe was like it was like a real restaurant. Now you go into Walmart and they got a fucking Pizza Hut jammed up in the front and everybody mm -hmm. like two tables the kmart cafe was on staten island holland boulevard at least was f a full restaurant this is the guy we should have brought with us look at the, look yeah. at the passion look at the uh it was awesome. look at the joy when he's talking about kmart That's, right. yeah you Maybe, know yeah should have brought him yeah. <laughs> i'm sure he would have went <laughs> yeah like, oh man i always didn't even get him down here half the time <laughs> Uh, but but it did yeah. like okay so so we went with Frank and Mary and Walt and Deb you know his wife and we go to he offended my wife what a surprise we, we went to Red Robin she offended me she offended I'm offended by your wife and by you yeah Got all that. I all I did <laughs> asshole that I am yeah I'm like I'll pick up lunch don't worry about it okay. let me buy lunch because that's the way normal people do it sure when we went out with Troy Troy picked up dinner yeah and then next time I go with Troy I'll pick up dinner that's it. Me and you go out. We switch back and forth. Goosey That's goosey, it goes. baby. Yeah. You would have fucking thought the way that like these Flanagans fucking insisted I take the money back that like it was the last payment on their house. And they're like, we want it free and clear. Like they don't take yeah. generosity. They act like you're the asshole. Well, maybe she didn't want to be locked into a second dinner with you. <laughs> that she then has She's to eating dinner by. with me again, whether she likes it or not, down the road. I was offended by that. I'll tell right. you that much. Yeah, I was like, just, I was like, it's okay, don't worry. And then she overpaid on top of it. She gave me an extra ten dollars, and I was like, here, you here's, back. here's I'm not going to uh, refuse it. You want the ten dollars back? I'll give it to you before we leave. Because then she, I was like, I have ten dollars right here. It's only. 30, uh, in, in fact, it was not even that much. But why it was even Deb insulted? Yeah, well, how did she get insulted? Because um, she was she was happy because she found this woolite that you can't find anywhere anymore. Oh my God! She's offended goes, by that. What is and a Brian goes, Wow, we're so old. We're talking about woolite. We are. I said <laughs> when you were twenty, could you imagine that, being excited by dark can, woolite for dark? Fuck around. Like I was that including with us. myself. Mm, you didn't sound like it. I was including. I said when I said we. I'm not talking about me and the devils. I'm talking about me <laughs> and my fellow old people. Yeah, I was like, I can't believe like we're excited about Woolite Dark, but I get excited about thing. stupid shit too. All the time. <laughs> we walked when you're in old. today. We I stole a whole bunch of napkins from Helen, Chili's the other day. Helen walked past the um the yarn place and she was like, Oh, what sort of yarn do we have? And she's like, <laughs> she's like, I'm getting old. She's like, we're she's like, I'm talking about yarn. And she's only 30. Like, yeah. well, this it, is it the happens. all over though. They don't want to admit that they're getting older. Oh, yeah. They want to pretend they're fucking 20 still. So? What do you mean so? So? You're only fooling yourself. You're not fooling anybody else. Uh, Everyone else on earth is like, oh, thank you for picking up that meal. I'll get you next time. Yeah. Not the Flanagans. Yeah. Like I said, if you want to get, you want to throw me some money. <laughs> you got it. we go here today, you I, got will, it. I will refuse it. <laughs> I will take it. And uh, I'll, I'll thank you for it. Yeah. I'll be like, what uh. a sweetheart. Offended. Wow. <laughs> offended because I, because I said something about her woolite dark okay. that she was really excited what to find. What is woolite? Well, it is like, like a fabric softener. Yeah, for delicates. Okay. And <laughs> his it, wife's problem was that when she uses regular wool light, yeah. these little marks on the clothes. Yeah, okay. Dark wool light doesn't do that. Okay, got so it. So I was like, all right, I get it. And I was like, but still. Like, she's not, but she's not used to that kind of like, you know, personal. In your face reality? Well, you know, like joshing and ribbon like that. You know, so she, she did, but she agreed she, with she, me. She goes, yeah, we are old. Yeah, but then I heard about it later though. Right. You know. 
Why do you okay, say she's that? a she's Why young. Why do you say that? I'm she's young. Like, I'm I, sorry, I was wrong. She's you know, 19. You know, you know, Brian. It's, it's like, like that guy who is like women in their 50s <laughs> aren't in their wrong. prime. <laughs> women in their 50s aren't in their prime. All the women in their 50s are like, oh yes, we are. It's like, no, bitches, no, you're not. No, you're not. None of us are in the 50s. None of us. I'm I, past stop the prime. kidding yourselves. Way I, past the prime. I just think it's this generalizations that you tend to throw out, though, that like nobody under the age of 50 would talk about well, like. I think but they bullshit. they would, but they wouldn't be excited like your wife was. <laughs> <laughs> She's dancing a jig over there. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, look what I found. <laughs> Sal and I have a running joke where when we find ourselves talking about shit like this, we're like, oh, we're writing a middle aged sitcom. Right. And like, and it's because if sometimes the shit we talk about is so yeah. boring and stupid and just like nothing to do with the shit we used to talk about as as you know, younger men. Yeah. It just happens, man. It happens because that's the shit that can when she I was 20, I wouldn't have been concerned with She just didn't expect dark. to get, like, you know, to get... Age shamed? Called out like that. Yeah. Publicly. Yeah. <laughs> I could see it on her face. It was like if I had cursed her children. <laughs> it was it was That's shock. why I left. It was, it so, was ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so ugly. I'm like, I need to go get high. <laughs> oh, wow. Frank rat me out, huh? All right. No, it wasn't Frank. Who, what, Mary? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, Mary. When why, I, why is that, I know where you why, are. Why is that a rat? Where you though? Live. Why is that a ratting you out though? Because I'd rather go home and watch TV than go to a fucking antique store. I didn't want to offend you guys. <laughs> no, bro, too late. Yeah, I didn't know the whole like dark did the trick. I would have just been like, "Fuck you guys, see you later." <laughs> if I knew I was already in the doghouse. <laughs> you got to be careful. Yeah, I know. That's what. That's what Frank is. The like when he goes out, he is. He's not like calling out like you know. The, the choice of fabric softeners or, you know, spaghetti sauces. <laughs> mm -hmm. He just is like, that's a great sauce. Or, or that's a great fabric softener. He's that's, rah, that's, rah, rah. That's what Deb requires, huh? A fucking <laughs> yeah. yes, man. To not offend her because she's so fucking sensitive. You know I'm not that guy. Why would you invite me? <laughs> Hasn't she known you longer than she's known Walt? I've known her since second grade. <laughs> Yeah, I've I guess forever. Like, why would he say that? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm why, like, don't, why aren't you just like, because we're old. And it's weird that we get excited about shit that's no. fucking, un when we were younger, it wouldn't have mattered. We would have laughed at it. If her mom was like, oh, I found Will Light Dark, she would have been like, oh, God. <laughs> like, you know, I can't believe my mom's excited about it. Yeah. I'm not willing to just, you know, throw in the towel and be like, just because we mentioned Will Light that, like, you know, we're ready f for the grave. Uh, it's all the other shit, too. Hurt feet. Her testicles, all this stuff, all this stuff. Me, her knee. No, we're no. all, we're all fucking. I think we're, I overused mine. Even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. It wasn't oh, really. Just, yeah, I think I overused them. That's oh, why. Okay. That's why right. that they broke. That I believe. Yeah. It's like his age. After one, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, after one particularly rough session. <laughs> no, no. Oh my don't. balls! No, just the girls are like, what? <laughs> What'd you say, Dad? Ow! ow, ow, ow. <laughs> It was just that, you know, over the course of the, like the, over the course of time, you know, like I was told when I blew out my knee, it was just because of overuse. I, I was too <laughs> right. hard on my knees, like yeah. by playing too much strenuous sports. But wasn't it your colon that was in jeopardy? No. If you're talking about overuse. <laughs> colon? Yeah. Well, what? I'm not doing my colon. This is admission. Uh, yeah. Prostate. Prostate. Yeah. yeah. Prostate. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well. Sorry to say, sorry about, to be the bearer of fucking bad news. We're all old. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. We're not ancient. We're not elderly. I wasn't like, hey, Deb, or do you want to take the scat let's, bus let's home? Let's talk to the youngster. Do you, all right, do you consider junior? us old? Nah, I don't. He's What's not he going to say? Yeah. 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 No, no, hey, no, do you want to go, you you? go out to dinner with Deb? <laughs> she'll, I did. she'll love your agreeableness. He, he did the next night. You know what? I like that Rupp. He's a sweetheart. He's he's a good guy. <laughs> They're not being real in front of her. She likes phoniness, I guess. That's what she she said. likes this asshole get him. <laughs> she described him as ambitious during lunch. I was like, what? Because he do you want to know why he's ambitious? According, yeah, to, the I gotta Flanagan's, know why. according to the Flanagan's, yeah. the reason Get him is ambitious is because he had a coupon for a free sub, right? Yeah. So he goes to Wawa to get it. They can't figure out how to like scan the scan. They okay. couldn't scan the fucking thing. And the thing. coupon's only valid for an hour. Oh, yeah, okay. for another hour. <laughs> for a sub. What ambitious. So they're like, you know what? We can't scan it. Just take it. Get him is then like, ooh, I could go to all the Wawas in Monmouth County and get free subs all day. Well, for the hour. Like for the, for the hour driving or around, <laughs> Driving around Monmouth and Middlesex County, you know, going to all the Wawas, that will give him the free sub. That's what they count as ambition. 
I was like, Jesus Christ. Well, how low is the bar <laughs> that I'm ambitious? Wow. But you don't think that, like, and you know I love you, but, like, all these things seem to be revolving around you. I know. When I hang out with you, yeah. is there any of this? You're yes, making these kids dig through the fucking mustard trash. He was not happy with your actions. The mustard trash. <laughs> mustard trash was, had nothing to do with you. That was between me and the staff. <laughs> Had nothing to do with you. I lo- when I saw that mustard, I was so happy. I was so He's pleased. Like, yeah, I saw it was so nice to us. They bought us so many shots. They were like, if you guys have any special areas that you want to close off, do it. No, no, no. We're okay at the bar. Oh, are too many people coming up? We'll stop them. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's been respectful. No problem. Blah, blah, blah. Couldn't bend over backwards more to make sure that my experience. What was this place called? Oh, uh, fuck. Let me ask Troy. I'll text yeah, Troy and ask uh, this, this bar in, in Long Island, they, they could not have bent over backwards anymore to make our time there more comfortable, more welcoming, like everything. There's when no- he says our, he means mine. <laughs> Just so you know. Just so but, you know. But, but like, what are we talking about here? Like, why would be, how many free shots did the bar send us that night? I don't know. I mean, you drank them all, so how could I That's know? That's <laughs> Oh, my God. Lordy Lord. I mean, I definitely got hammered. I'm not saying I didn't, for sure. But I was high on Bruce, man. Yeah, you were. Come it was, on, I gotta dude. I got to say, it was a really fun night. It was really yeah. fun. Yeah. And I was, I mean, even when they're digging through the garbage, it was still fun. It was fun to watch, you know? Like, yeah. I didn't have a bad time at all that night. It was great. No, it was fucking but awesome. We went, out, we went out to dinner. Then we went out and had some pre-Bruce drinks. Then we went to the, the theater. We're on the bus with Bruce. The show is great. Q was awesome on the show. Got to go up on stage with oh, him and do awesome. a little like performing with him and stuff like that. It was like a dream yeah. come true night. I don't really get too. I don't really get too crunked anymore. You know, what is that word? crunked. What does that mean? <laughs> does that mean Blonde? drunk? Drunk. Oh. Drunk. Yeah, I don't get crunked up anymore. You say that a lot, but wow. every time we hear, like, you know, no, it was a holiday thing last time. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> there's always a reason to get crunked. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I hear that a lot. I'm done with the. I'm done getting crunked. Yeah, I'm done getting crunked, and then and then inevitably, like a week later, man, I was so crunked. <laughs> 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 Sometimes you just gotta get crunked. Well, I'm, I, you know, I, know, I hear you. You know, you deserve to get crunked if that's what you want to do. All I'm saying is, it was kind of a special night for me, right? You know, they they tell you never meet your heroes, and I met one of my heroes, and he turned out to exceed what I wanted. I mean, that almost never happens. You know what I mean? So it was, you know, it was a good night. Nice. You know, James Joyce in Patchogue, Long Island. That's James the name, that's Joyce the the bar. was the name of the bar, and holy fuck. Like during the day, cool ass Irish bar at night, club. It's unbelievable how packed it got. It was, yeah, it was really packed. And I mean, you want to talk about old? I mean, everybody there is like 21, 22. Oh, like they, they look they like children. All, yeah, they, they look, look like so babies. little. Yeah. Like you can't, you see people drinking and you're almost like, I, I feel like I should call the cops. There's no way these people are old <laughs> enough to, to be drinking, but they are. They're 22, 23 years old. You don't know that though. Maybe they had fake IDs. That's what I said. I was, I told, Possible. I talked to the owner. I was like, are you sure all these kids are in? <laughs> I want mean, to ruin anybody's time that I could. Yeah, those guys are great though. Good, good. Nice to us, except for the part where Brian had the staff <laughs> digging through fucking piles of old food and, and, and mustard for something that he knew wasn't. <laughs> I'm up there. It was funny. <laughs> and then, and then we were dying. Like, and then he's then he's critiquing the Woolite conversations the next weekend. It's like yeah. and this guy's never happy. He's a problem. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I went up to the staff. And I, I would never thought about Woolite twice. I ratted him out. Ooh. Yeah, I went right did. up and I yeah, went, listen, I go, because I knew they were going to be looking. I go, my asshole friend had it the whole time. He was making fun of me. So guys, please. And then you got to tip like 110% to make up for the fucking thing. Well, it costs you money in the end. Of course it does. You guys yeah. drinking too trash. <laughs> He's got golden fetches all over his yeah. arms. <laughs> Looks like he was wearing a yellow sleeves on yeah. his shirt. Yeah, oh, I felt so bad. Oh, it's awesome. It was. That was funny. <laughs> um, it's awesome in retrospect, but. Right. At the time, um, I felt really bad for the kid. Actually, you know what? Uh, that that trip to Kmart cost me far more than the trip to Long Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your wife all of a sudden found, uh, a, She's buying found a lot of clothes. value, a lot of bargains at yeah, Kmart. It cost we, you 100 bucks. Because we started dieting and shit. And she's like, I'm going to get in shape, so I'm going to buy these clothes that'll fit me in the summer or, you know, that's always later. A, that's always a good idea. Yeah, later on in the fall. <laughs> 
So I go 120 bucks later. She has all yeah. these fucking Kmart clothes and shit. You don't like that? There was a, a, the, they look cute though. I'll now, say this much: they did look cute. Me uh, the now, she got. me and Frank were, did not partake in the conversation, but me and Frank were in the front seat. But in the back seat, there was they were wondering why Mary Beth wasn't allowed to buy a decorative yard frog because it looks stupid. But it was like, they were like, if you knew how much money she fucking spends, they were just, you would start shutting it I down get, too. Why would Brian not allow her to buy a, a frog if she wanted a frog for twenty bucks? And just, what was the what? How did the, what was the consensus? I, I just turned your radio up. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but you just said her parents are richy rich. They they give her all the all the frog know, money she could need. No, no, no. They they she doesn't have frog money. She got Christmas money. Okay. And that Christmas money has to also go towards other things like the house, all the yeah. shit she wants to do. The fucking pond, which they're working on for two days now. The koi pond, two days. The guy's like, in all my time in the business, this is probably top 10 worst ponds I've ever no. seen. No. Oh, yeah. He was like, they must have not Are done anything to it for fucking 10 that years. That you would have the top 10 worst ponds? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Not at all. No. Of course I did. Par it's very, very on brand. Yeah. Par for the course. He, so he found all the fish carcasses <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. But like, I mean, I have to say this, like he did one of the, the smaller area pond and he like uh, water pressure washed it yeah took the fish out took all the mud out and it does look it's really clear not Beautiful. like when you guys saw it so that's what he's doing to the second part today but i'm like two days of these guys digging mud and doing all this shit i'm like how much is this gonna cost right how well, much I is mean, this gonna cost they the, the don't ladies, give a fuck the wives were so concerned they went into tj maxx looking for that frog let's buy it for mary Beth. that would have right. been awesome and i was like no no i don't think it's a good idea <laughs> don't get in the way yeah, yeah that like, would have been great if they're like they wanted to go buy the frog you don't want to set them off yeah <laughs> <laughs> not if she wanted things. that fucking frog she would have bought that frog she's no uh -huh. victim but I, she's she like, said she wanted a frog and he wouldn't let me buy it and of course it's so just, stupid <laughs> That's, but every time she goes somewhere, she's worse than a child. I need well, this. I need that. Every fucking time she goes out, we can't go to Kmart without buying one hundred twenty dollars worth of clothes. Oh, we got. We went to this place. Now we we, we got to buy a frog. We only oh wait, to we're going to just a buck. We only went to Kmart for Mrs. Five, and she spent like less than five bucks in there. And, and Mary Beth walks out of there, fucking yeah, over a hundred dollars worth of shit, covered in bags, yeah. just like you know, <laughs> trying to make her way to the, the car. Big K. <laughs> wow. Oh damn! My fucking nose piece came off. You just broke your glasses. I broke my glasses. I'm so worked up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that that was. Um, so so did you was did she buy clothes that future clothes? Future clothes. I would future say, um, not the summer. I, I think this maybe the end of the summer. Yeah. Uh, or next year, if we say we go on a vacation of some type in the early part of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a working vacation, I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. I understand. <laughs> All right. I so, think it's good so that, and that, that's my goal too, but because I'm fat as fuck now. So by January, January, that's like I'm not going to try to go for the summer. That was originally my plan, yeah. but I'm like, that's two months away. You could lose. You could do a lot of. I do a lot of damage tumor. in two months, but but I I think for my my clothes that I bought when I was at my peak, I'm going to wait until. Why didn't you buy some Kmart clothes to motivate yourself? I had. If you saw my closet, there's enough motivation there. I oh, have yeah. like fucking 12 pairs of pants, tons of fucking shirts. None of them fit because like I bought them, like I said, when I was in my peak okay. condition. So I'm not going to be able to wear them until I'm like 200 pounds. I think you can get there. I can do it. I did it last year or, the, or not last year, but a couple of years ago. It, again. it took me from July to October to lose 50 pounds. So, but now, like, you know, I've been doing it. This is going on week two. I'm constantly woozy with a headache because I don't eat it. Oh, yeah. It's so it worst. sucks. It really sucks. But what are you going to do? I shouldn't have sat there during pandemic eating like a pig. And we all TV. did it. It wasn't just you. Yeah. We all did it. did it. We all did it. Yeah. Don't be too hard on yourself, buddy. Okay, I won't. Come on. It's all right. You're a great guy. Thank you. Everyone loves you. Yeah. Especially Debbie Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Well, I, I, can't, I can't believe that. Like, she, I can't believe that sets her off to the point where she's that upset. She's like, they're talking about it. Miss Five's ratting me out. They're trying to fucking yeah. undermine my authority by going and buying a fro decorative frog. No, no, no way. <laughs> they're lucky they didn't buy it for because she oh, would have paid the price. That's why I said, like, you don't want you don't know what you know what the fallout is back at the Johnson Chateau. I said, if you buy, if you bring her them that frog, I said, right, you know. It could be. It I could like be. it though. I, I like that they think I'm just so cruel that I'm like, no, and like with no reasoning or anything. <laughs> well, that's what you said. You're literally like, no, 
That, I want to go home, no. smoke pot, and watch TV. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Can I be more street drove away there. and left this in the parking lot at TJ Maxx? Right? <laughs> and their girl ladies are just like, what happened? What just happened there? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know Debbie wouldn't want to acknowledge this, but we're old. And I like being straightforward with shit. Yeah. You no know? time to dance around. I don't have time to dance around uh-huh. anymore. Or yeah. nor do I have you, when did the, you when did you not have time to ever dance around? Oh, now, I've danced now, all around. of a sudden now you don't have time. I've danced around. <laughs> Look, dude, I'm constantly doing some sort of dance around your wife. Because I'm like, <laughs> I better not say the wrong thing. Little did I know that remarking on her like dark would have set her off. Well, I had no do, idea. All you gotta do is just agree whatever whatever the conversation is, you just go, yeah. Like Frank does. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's a pussy. <laughs> Frank's How a little pussy. How are you puss. hardcore? How are you hardcore? Because I fucking brought the truth about Will I Dark, and she wasn't willing to accept it. Frank's just there like, yeah, I have dark clothes, too. You could you watch them? <laughs> puss. No, I'm uh, not agreeable. No. I'm not agreeable to that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what we need to do, man, before What's we that? forget? Let me see. How much time do we have on this card, Rob? Can you see that, bud? Uh, six minutes. Six minutes, right? This is going to be less than six minutes then. All right, hold on a second. What do you put our, what are you, where do you put our youthful <laughs> vibe energy we put off at? Give it like a, a one to 10. 10 is like what? 10 is like, you know, like high you know, school, like, yeah, yeah, like a teeny bopper. I'd say. Well, how old are you? I'm 35. Okay. Baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. He That's why he's he writing spends, suicide notes on Facebook. But he spends Little a lot bitch. of time with older men. <laughs> right? yeah, no, right? that I believe. Right? We've been hanging out. Leave it at that. Right? Leave it at that. Right? <laughs> but there's nothing wrong. Like, but no. you spend a lot of time with people who are older than you, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so you think he's the guy? I think I'd like to get his. Okay. His. his uh, he's 35. His vibe. On okay. What, uh, like, but that's a lot younger than me. Sure. You're right, dude. He could be my son. You're right, dude. You're I right. would ask Mary Beth, and she's old. She she'll be like, yeah, I'm old because she's an old lady. Because, no, because she's because she's been around you too long. That's no, she was old the day I met her. The day I met her, she was not into like any of the shit that people in their twenties are into. I sincerely doubt she was fucking binge watching Little House in the Prairie. She wasn't. I had to introduce it to her. <laughs> exactly. Right. Like, making my point. <laughs> right. Yeah. She, I was like, she would she would have watched it if she didn't want to though. She yeah. loved it. And we're going to do that on Patreon. For anybody yes. who's on Patreon.com slash Tell Him Steve Dave, oh, okay. uh, Mary Beth and I are going to do a retrospective of Little House on the Prairie, L-H-O-T-P, as we say. Uh, and um, <laughs> As we say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and Mary Beth. And uh, we're not sure exactly what the format of the show is going to be yet. We were talking about it today. We want to figure it out so it's so it's interesting and people will yeah. dig it and they can watch along, you know, that sort of thing. All right. That's cool. Individual numbers. Yeah. Individual? Who's yeah. the oldest to the youngest? Not chronologically. You're the oldest. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Well, but it, it, no, well, <laughs> see, <laughs> it's like you're dead. What are you old? Take it. Ooh, I'm just speaking truth to power. <laughs> <laughs> I am old. And then as I call him old, then he's in his fucking <laughs> cock shrivels up like a big fat wet pussy. <laughs> And it's like, My I'm pussy's now puffy. Now <laughs> oh, how dare you call me old? Because he's the only reason he's saying that is because he's afraid of you. Everybody's afraid of you. <laughs> All these I motherfuckers are afraid what of you. What am I doing? <laughs> I can you, defend my argument. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. I, I think you are a little bit kind of of the most uh, cranky, you know? Curmudgeonly? Curmudgeon, yeah. All right. So I think that energy kind of makes you seem- <laughs> Get off my lawn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of I'm not saying I disagree with it. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm a little curmudgeonly. I do, I do. I'm not. Uh, I'm not that agreeable to a lot of things. I'll say that. All right. But what makes me just because I'm curmudgeonly makes me older than Walter Q. I think it's just that this fucking motherfucker. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. Young people do anything. He goes to sporting events, you know. He, Every, he, if you have tickets, he does. That's why. <laughs> That's why he's saying Walt's well, young. <laughs> it's no, it's it's the vibe. It's the it's what it's what it just you can't help it. You just you just you just you permeate the room with a youthful vibe. That's what I do. No, that's what you no, do. No, no, no. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what you and Q are doing. Yeah. Okay. I don't okay. have to. You know, I don't have to go get Blotto to do it. 
Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. He doesn't do anything young. You think that the only thing young people do is Let's go, go to bars. antiquing. Let's go antiquing. I thought I was with gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this reminds me of the Sopranos. Fucking Johnny Cakes and shit. I'm like, I'm not going to any antique shop with you guys. Walt and Frank probably paired up. <laughs> there they point. go. Yeah. So. You're saying Walt is most youthful? No, I think Q's He's second the, most youthful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Q is the most youthful. I would agree with that. Yeah. Q's always out and about, going to concerts, meeting up with people, going to the city, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Q's like a 23-year-old college guy. Yeah, that's me. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know Q that well. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> the energy I give off. <laughs> I'll take it. You, you go out and drink a lot, though, and stuff, Not right? a lot, like, but I'll, I'm, I won't shy away from do it. Do you drink? No, I'm like a 65 year old man myself. But, yeah, but what is this? Yeah, what is this like view that like that's what only what young people do is drink? I think it's like just kind of like a more young thing to go out and get like blottoed at bars and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you're a good arbitrator. Of, like, <laughs> I, mean, I think he's right. You think? I don't know. I mean, although when I go to like when I go to the liquor store, it's pretty rare. But if I go to the liquor store and there's like a bar in it, it's usually older people. Well, you're talking clubs and I'm shit. I'm talking right? like yeah. more like, you know, Raves not your shit. Applebee's. Yeah. Well, the you second know. you buy a house, for me, it was like the second I bought a house. I you don't want to go anywhere. I was like, why would I go to a bar? I'm like, right. I have a house and it's fucking awesome here. Yeah. Like, but, but when but when you don't, when you're living with other people, when you're living with your parents, when you're young enough, still at that stage, I think you've got to get out and where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. You're going to go to the fucking bar because that's where everybody else is and everybody's drinking and having a good time. You know, unless you want to join a fucking pottery class or whatever. But who the hell's doing that at like 23? So you told me what makes me old. What makes Walt youthful? I'm dying to know. Yeah, this is going to yeah, be I'm, good. I can't <laughs> wait. What gets, what gets now he's the, on the spot. Uh -huh. I think that. Now you're on a real podcast, <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> I, I, I think it's almost undefinable, right? No, I think no, no, I think no, no, I can no, no. define no. it. <laughs> a certain <laughs> genesis. Yeah, I don't think you can define it. It's just whether either you got it or you don't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's don'ts with a Z, by the way. <laughs> that is why I want a camera on this. Guy, I don't want people to see this. You don't got it, or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do I think you like at times have a real like youthful enthusiasm for like certain things. Like what? Like? like different projects. Like right. if something peaks you in the right way, you really do I revert to like 17 year old Walt. Yeah, you get yeah. really jacked up about some things. You know? I remember 17-year-old Walt. He wasn't jacked up about shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Metal. Yeah, metal. All right, he got jacked up about yeah, metal. He got jacked up about metal. Yeah, but then, you know, then, you know that <laughs> metal kind of goes by the wayside, and then I'm searching for that next jack. You yeah. Know, what's that next thing? That's what's your jack? latest jack? Um, I just think creative uh, projects. Yeah. Yeah, you know, beginning artistically. Um caught up in doing some other, some things with Patreon and stuff. Those are my, those are things that jack me up now. Yeah. Yeah. That's really all that's really left, you know, for me to do. <laughs> it sucks, right? I was, I was thinking the other day, I was like, oh my God, is this what retirement is like? Like I do something like one or two, once or twice a week. I don't like it. I, I, I think that's why I get depressed. I, haven't like, you been retired for like since Yeah, like decades. Like 1997? Yeah, <laughs> I know, but I'm fine, it's finally catching up with me. I'm getting bored. <laughs> why do you, I, what are you talking about? I was on TV for seven years. That's he, not a job. He had a job. Yeah, I worked in uh, I, Kevin's I, store. Yes, but it's not the traditional like job. It's not. No. If you can't no. see that it's not the traditional nine to five job that, mm -hmm. that you gave up on the the uh, society what they deem as a as an occupation you right know, you gave up on that. I got the nine to five in, is not in your probably when you were 35 yeah you should do the same thing i did man. I look at me you got, a kid, you got a kid in the way you should just fucking quit everything it all works out in the end look at me man i'm buying portraits <laughs> oh god but if you're getting bored why don't you start writing again man i did yeah, I'm, I'm working on oh, something. Somebody uh, called the Horror Writers Association. Working on something for Walt. I've been, yeah. like I said, I've been really working yeah. on the YouTube stuff a lot. All right. Um, and uh, going to do the Little House thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I got some projects lined up that I want to work on because it's just, it's, it's getting too boring. And I don't want to work on shit at the house. I look at that garage. I'm like, I don't want to clean this shit out. Yeah. I'd rather do this work on something. So like, whenever we do Patreon or, or or this, I'm like, I'm always ready. I'm always like down to do anything because it's yeah, clean fun. out, clean it's out fun. the garage. Yeah, that's uh -huh. yeah. I I have to do it 
seemingly every a couple of months and it's a fucking it sucks it's a soul crushing event yeah. uh, thing to do there's no fun involved in this. <laughs> no and fun. then and then when somebody will be like wow it looks so nice don't you don't you feel good that the, the garage is all cleaned out and now we can get a car in there and i'm like <laughs> i don't care yeah i, don't yeah, I never fuck. cared about that yeah i forgot i have to read this we got an almost ad forgot, almost forgot yes copy ray con power on let's face it with coffee starting at five dollars and our bank accounts somehow always depleting we're officially entering a dupe session i don't know what that is most products do the same thing, but are priced differently solely based on the brand name. So a good duplicate or dupe is crucial for getting the highest quality at the best price. One dupe you definitely shouldn't sleep on, Raycon Wireless Earbuds Q. Mm -hmm. Raycon is a premium audio and, uh, sorry, Raycon is a pre, see what I have to fucking call it. Okay. It's it's just oh like, my God. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Israeli. <laughs> Uh, Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point, so you can listen to what you want when you want without breaking the bank. Raycon's mission is to prove to you that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. You get a pair and a spare, and still less than you would have paid for some of those other more big name tech brands out there. And Raycon knows that in this economy, every purchase needs to be perfect. They offer buy now, pay later options. Right now, you can pay as low as $18 at checkout. They have an easy and free return guarantee policy. They offer two years of product protection insurance for just a few bucks. They offer free domestic shipping and a flat fee international shipping. And they have over five fifty thousand five five-star reviews. Uh, I use Ray, uh, Raycon all the time. Uh, I use them when I'm, uh, when I'm home cleaning the garage. I use them when I sleep. <laughs> I use them when I want to drown out Sage and Mary Beth. I want them when I want to. I use them when I want to just, you know, cool out and think of... A better place nice man transports you it's like a magic carpet right it's really great i love recons right. I, I i recommend them to anybody i give them to people i gave a pair to sunday jeff i gave a pair to my buddy e-rock nice i give them away because this guy yeah and bought them well i bought them i didn't even just i didn't even just get them from raycon yeah it's the way to roll sunday jeff doesn't know that he doesn't know that i gave him such a generous gift i haven't seen sunday jeff in a while yeah man. I gotta get him he's missable here. yeah he is missable. guy's missable uh, so if you want some Raycon earbuds, and I don't know why you wouldn't, go to buy, buyraycon.com slash TESD today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash TESD to score 15% off. That's buyraycon.com slash TESD. Now, he, Rob just showed me um, a yeah. response of one of a potential guest, upcoming guest, and... One of the concerns I never even factored in because I wanted to drop your name and as much as possible. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, turned out I it wasn't. I would ask <laughs> you not to do that. Why? Because people are so concerned that it's going to be a setup for yeah for a, like an IJ bit or something. Oh, that's interesting. Some cryptid guy turned us down. Yeah, yeah a lot cryptid? of like some of these, um, you know, um, they hunt the cryptics. The animals like the big oh fire. okay and we want to get a jersey devil guy in here and once he heard that you were involved he did not want any part of it because he thought it was he was yeah. going to be because like that's usually before. the way they do it they tell you ahead of time that you're going to get pranked just stupid <laughs> yeah fuck. Well, stupid uh, fucking cryptid <laughs> asshole but he has no idea though once he hears that like it's i mean know. to be fair i'm probably going to call him and like a, a that's like maybe he listened to the ghost yeah. the ghost hunters and it's like the vortex <laughs> and the pants shit yeah rob said he's not going to go for that Right. So should we not mention? I don't think mentioning me is going to get any traction whatsoever. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that because it's like, hey, Walt and Bry from Tell Me Steve Dave and Comic Book Men, people are going to be like, what? Yeah. And Practical Jokers is yeah. current it's, and it's people very, love it. It's very recognizable. Right. But, it okay, all, but it yeah. also, but the connection though, I think, especially for people who, who want, don't want their work to be taken as a joke. Yeah. You know, maybe leery of walking into something associated with a guy who they're afraid they're going to get clown years, yeah. Yeah. you know, doing doing Clowning. funny stuff, and joking and practically joking. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a practically joke. He he's joke. a very serious man. With so very serious. Business. So that's what he said. No, more or less. He said, uh, hold on, I'll pull up the quote directly. <laughs> uh, I would be interested in appearing on the show if you can positively assure me that the topic or me will not be treated as a joke. I've watched Impractical Jokers and enjoyed it, but I have no desire to be on the receiving end of that sort of thing. Yeah. And then he follows it up by saying, I have a sense of humor. 
But, but that's not the first person. It was yeah, the Jersey we, Devil Hunter. Said, yeah, said Jersey the same Devil thing. guy too. Yeah. Well, who's that person? This is another uh, supernatural kind but of. But you life. could assure him. Just be like, it's not that type of show, man. Like he, we were doing this before the uh, Rub gave up. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I told, I told him, I said that guy was. It's not for if he's that concerned yeah. about it. Because I even said yeah. we'll get, we'll throw him some bones too. And then right. he said, "Well, then, oh, I, usually, I get three times as much in appearance fee for what yeah, you're offering." Oh, I that's see. what I was like. Fuck right, you. Well, then, yeah. so, you're not cut him loose. There's no chance. Yeah. You don't need him. What do we got? Oh, th- here's something. I got two cryptid people book though. Yeah, we do have a, a somebody who wrote a book on uh, wait, it's the big book of cryptics. Yeah, is willing to come on. It's a, a female author. A Zoom. We're um, in. I'm not sure. I, she mm-hmm. said in July. I assumed it'd be phone. Okay. okay. See. Yeah. This is who. Sorry. A uh, female author wrote a big book about cryptids. Okay, she's a, like she. I guess she's kind of an expert on all the uh, the cryptid creatures. <laughs> By the way, you could just say author. You don't yeah, say you female know, author. I, <laughs> like, yeah. well, I thought, you know what? I, I yeah, I was I was intrigued by that because I because yeah. I, yeah, I thought that that's a pretty spooky topic for for chicks. Yeah, for for girls to handle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean a, a fake animal? <laughs> Yeah. Well, don't say that. I'm, don't say that. All I, all all I come to, on. But all I have to go on is my personal experiences. My wife is scared of Bigfoot. Yeah. My daughters don't want to talk about when we talk about UFOs right. and Jersey Devils. Yeah. Okay, like shut the conversation down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, I told Can we I talk have, about what well, like dark? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to talk about that stuff. If I put that on TV, they're like change the channel. Yeah. Like, so I don't know. That's all I have to go on. Is like I find that females aren't into cool shit like they probably aren't but to, but to be like oh they're afraid of them that might be a stretch <laughs> um I, I i was speaking i was talking about uno earlier on playing with sage do you think it's bad form as part of my trash talking to tell sage that she's my property um no because i'm like i own you you're my property it's trash talking it's trash talking yeah. everybody's like don't say that in front of her you don't mean it. Was, you're not. You're not giving the impression that you actually own her. You're trash talking. She turned like say she turns around immediately and says something back to me. Yeah, yeah. In fact, she stole it later on. She told me that I was her property because <laughs> she won the game. <laughs> and that's when Mary Beth was like, "Oh, see, so yeah. now she's saying it." All right. But I was like, "I don't know. That doesn't seem bad, right?" I, I think in, everybody's in, so in sage, sensitive with now. sage. I think it's fine. Right. Yeah, but you go down to the local basketball court and you start talking like that. Right. Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah, why? Because yeah, black yeah, guys yeah. are going to be there. That's what you're saying. No, you're a racist. Or, 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 the, or the tennis oh, court. Whoa. Or the tennis Let's court. Let's slide down a little. Whoa. <laughs> we don't want to be associated whoa. with these two. I think it, it's all it's all where you say it and who you say it to. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, I don't think I would say it to Mike Tyson, <laughs> but I might say it to Sage again. <laughs> you know, we, me and Q are talking. Well, what would you do? I, I don't think I asked you this. You're at a party. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> because okay. this is a tough one. You're at a party, and for some reason, you look across the room. It's like it's Q's, you know, it's a Q event. So, you know, there's going to be some famous people there. You look across the room, and Mike Tyson is staring you down. He's like mean mug. He's you. angry. And you're you. like, there's no, nobody between you two. So you're like, there's no doubt he's looking at me. And then he just he probably... he like, he looks like this and then he charges towards you. What's your move? I think I'm going to, I think it, this may be a case of mistaken identity. You can't possibly be. He's not going to listen to Oh, he's not listening. He's to charging. Yeah, whatever mistakes you're been not going to reason with Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah. He's Whoever already... you look like, that's your fault. You yeah. shouldn't have done it. <laughs> yeah. Like what's the. Well, can I, well, can I. Call well, you, you're the, you're the, it's your party. He's charging at you from you fucking 15 it, feet you. across the room. Yeah. You should step in and get in between us. I don't know what's going on. He's I don't, looking for his I don't know what you said man. to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, we I We got to distance ourselves at that point. I think that the running over is too, I said this to you when we were talking about it. I was like, I think that the running over is just because your options are too limited like then. But what do you do if you're at the party and you just notice that he hates your fucking guts for some reason and he's staring at you? And like his fingers are twitching, he's muttering to himself, like, what do you do? Because uh, at least because the only thing you can do if he charges you is run or die. Boy's pussy. Oh, kick I, ass. I would I would get my coat and leave. Right. You would just leave? I would just leave. Debbie's like, where are we going? Uh, I was like, we're gonna go to Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> we're level wool light. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. Brian's not coming, is he? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mike Tyson's beating him up right now. But what would you do? Like, what could you do? Like if, if you thought he was gonna kick your ass, you're like, okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm just out. I would here. tell Q. I'm he's, like, Q, we're he's little, already I, charging at you. That's not the fucking scenario. Q is charging at kick you. Kick him What'd out, you do? Q. He Q 
cue, kick him out. He's 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 staring he's at. He's doing me. it on purpose. He's doing it on purpose because he doesn't want to say that he would fucking fall to the ground like a pussy and I cover his leave. head up. You can't leave. He's running towards you from here okay. to that door. He's like, fuck it, I'm gonna get him. Do you? You do have you, to react in the moment. Do you own any guns? I mean, none that I'm willing to talk about on air. <laughs> <laughs> say that much. <laughs> you're not you're not packing at this party with all these celebrities and. I'm not throwing the party at my house. I it's think not it's like a, it's, well, it's, like it's a, not at his house. It's at like an event, like an oh, IJ event type thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people there. I see why you would make the, the, you would say that then because that makes sense. Oh, it's yeah, in Q's I house. I thought it was at Q's house. It's like no, this, no, is, not, this no, is his problem. No. Not we're, at, we're at an IJ event. Q's been glad handing. I, I would go into yeah. the bathroom, and I would just stay He's there. He's charging the restaurant at you. Closed. He's charging at you. He's fucking charging at you. Do I you guess fight I just him or do you fucking with, fall to the ground? There's only two answers. A, I just go cover up because I just to okay. Take, thank you. To That's take what the I would brunt do. of the uh, of the charge. That's what I was told I should do by who? Mary Beth. She was like, I would want you to fall to the ground and just cover your head up. Yeah, you go into that um, like a po- like a possum or what's that thing? Like a, the- yeah, yeah, the possum. Yeah, I roll. I roll up. Yeah, <laughs> you roll armadillo. Potato armadillo. Bunk. armadillo. Yeah, I try to go armadillo on him. Oh, so you like you totally like. Curl. And I'm hoping that somebody's filming this when all their phones are out, so then I could sue Makes his money, ass right? Mm-hmm. And Q because and Q because it's, it's an IJ event. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> he didn't kick him out when he saw him staring at me for wow. the last. I'm one of them. This is your problem. I'm a witness. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna have to call me. In. Uh, yeah, I would do the same thing. Because I, I was I was watching him box the other day on YouTube. It's inhuman. Like, it's unreal. Yeah, he's, it is unreal. It's like did a you, step above. Everything. Did you invite any other fighters? Maybe that I could convince to. Uh, oh, like Conor McGregor's yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Ken Shamrock. Buster I can be Douglas. Like, Ken Shamrock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's going against Tyson. Ken Shamrock well, shopping. I'm a Flanagan. He's a Shamrock. Ken, yeah. Ken Shamrock is shopping for a wool light dark. He's too old to be fighting. <laughs> that dude was big in the '90s, right? Ken so Shamrock. Is, so was fucking Tyson, wasn't he? Let me That's see. True. Tyson Ken. seems to. Have not lost his edge at all. <laughs> oh, and that was a th- that was the other thing I saw. The uh, and I'm sure people have seen it, but if you haven't, there's a little bit on Mike Tyson on YouTube where uh, he's in Canada yeah. and he's getting interviewed, and somebody asks him like, some, the guy says to him something about being a convicted rapist. Boom, the switch goes on, and Tyson wants to fuck him up. He's just like, "You're a piece of shit." Piece of shit. <laughs> you, you pretend you're a real guy, but you're a piece of shit. And he's he won't stop staring at him. It's frightening. I would be what, so what, scared. Did you just pull up Ken Chow. Ken Chow's only fifty nine. There you go. So, I'd be like, yeah. us Irish guys got to stick together, Ken. Right. You know, help help a brother out. You know. He's like, step he's, in he's here. Gonna be, he's Irish, me, so he's wasted. Me, he's like, you're no Irishman. Give me, you're not drinking. Give Fuck me, you. give me a minute so I can get into <laughs> the car. You're not drunk. No, no, he's not getting crunk. No, not at all. Yeah, that was uh, that. That would not be fun. So what do we got? What do we got coming up? Uh, we're not, just so everybody knows, we're not going to do video every single week simply because of Q's schedule. And it's, it's yeah. you know, it's difficult to, to get. Yeah, I want to be on camera every week. Every week. Yeah. yeah. I think we're going to, you know, we'll do it here and there from now on. We just kind of wanted to get it down. We're going to do guests. I got a... I got some guests lined up. I got I'm a much you. more successful booker than fucking Rupert. So far, I got DeRosa and Pam and Edgar. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> right, you yeah, got to be here. That's for pretty good. Yeah. yeah that's, I want you that's guys to have one. all kinds of questions for him. All right. Just the, I think the, the week of May 8th, I'm not around. Okay. Other than that, I'm around. All right. So that's what you have to look forward to, everyone. Oh, Pam and Edgar is going to be amazing. Pam and Edgar, first time in 13 years. I feel like years. it's all been building to that. Right. <laughs> yeah. That, like if there was going to be a series finale of, of Tell Him Steve David, it should right. be the Pam yeah, and Edgar. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Personally, I don't that's have it. anything else this week. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Well, it's all right. I, now, now I'm fucking get her home. banned from the, uh, the Flanagan household until yeah. I make it right. How are you going to make it right? I don't know. It's the littlest thing. You see the littlest thing and a Flanagan gets offended. Go <laughs> buy some wool light. Oh, put, she's put, getting a case of it. Put, yeah, put, I'm going to fucking go on yeah. Amazon. I'm going to find it. And that's how I'm going to make it right. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes. She was going to buy that fucking frog, right? Huh? Undermine me by buying that, yeah, that frog. It was more Mary than Deb. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, I'll have to talk to her then. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of monster. I'm just like, no. She just bought a ton of shit. We have Amazon packages, multiple Amazon packages. Wayfair, this place, that place, yeah. Etsy. Constantly, she doesn't need a fucking frog. Tell him something, Dave. God damn it, <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs>